the record. I, Let's make sure this is solid in history. I, I can do the forward here. I can say for, for sure that that base cab is the heaviest thing on planet Earth. <laughs> It was just it very wasn't heavy. That bad. It wasn't it was, that bad. Every time it was like it, two people would ca- like carry it. Yeah, and it was too much. <laughs> it, was, it was too much, and yeah, the I was in uh, Jordan's truck with Joe Tiago and Jordan, and we were like just listening to some bullshit, and we watched the base cab land flat on the ground <laughs> from some unknown, you know, unknown uh, or, an, uh, an unknown area of origin. <laughs> and it just f- like a flew down from heaven. And, and Joe was just like, what was that? <laughs> and, and Jordan was like, oh, I think that was Corey. And Joe know. rolls up the window <laughs> really <laughs> quick. He's like, like, I don't want anything to do with this. <laughs> I feel like you saw the cab and you instinctually I, like, that's, that's part of values. None of it's a big deal anymore. Uh. So, all right, Corey. Set if, I, the all right, if, I, if, I, if I can like specify the day, <laughs> I believe it was like the Brothers of Brutality like pre-party. It was like 2016. Hell yeah! That's okay. eight years ago, by the way, gentlemen. Oh <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we got a math sit, major on sit, the cast today. Not a math major. It's a time major, I guess. <laughs> He's the best. That's a story. long time ago. Either way, <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't know it was eight years ago. I, I, was, <laughs> I, I was playing this. I, don't know, I was in my early 20s, so I was broke. So I had this shitty acoustic B810. Okay. And I found out later, against my will, that it was made of pretty much particle board. <laughs> this particle board might as well have against been... Against your will is so generous. <laughs> Dude, it might have been fucking... It, it might as well have been fucking cardboard. Well, the bottom started to rot out a while back, and then me and my buddy Stefan, who was in my earlier band, I Bear Witness... We took a sheet of three quarter inch plywood. I mean, like, we found the burliest plywood we could, cut it, measured it, fitted it up with the casters so that it would sit like a normal cab. Like, we put a lot of thought into this. We got it all set up and everything, and I went to screw it in, and it like felt it screwed into fucking Play Doh. And I was like, oh, that's not good. So there was about 87 screws all the way around, kind of attaching the bottom to the sides. During this show, and uh, this was back when that whole uh, cold cock whiskey. I'm not sure uh, if you remember that. Cold cock whiskey. Cold cock whiskey. Dude, as a photographer, I emailed them cold asking for a whiskey. Cold cock whiskey. And I remember being a little annoyed. I was like, dude, they've given it to literally everyone. Why are they not answering me? So that was back during this craze. <laughs> the and, best I ha- times, yeah. and I had consumed an entire bottle before Classic. us playing. Okay. So already really, really well uptight. Hydrated. Really uptight. And. I remember it was like during the last two songs, I saw this thing, the cab, just start to slowly trickle down. I was like, what, what is it? What's happening? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it turns out that the screws in the sides, the sides were rotted. So <laughs> this three quarter inch piece of plywood was just like plying itself into the cab. Yep. And there was nothing I can do. I, I There was nothing I could do. It was just like falling down. I'm like, what? Every single reverberation of a bass note, one like <laughs> centimeter down, one <laughs> centimeter down. So during the last song, I actually caught it with my foot and I'm holding it up. And I looked at Jordan and I was like, it's going, it's going. <laughs> the set ends. I thank God. Does Jordan know what's happening? Like, what's Jordan's reaction in this moment? Jordan? Yeah, Jordan is the he, audience to every issue. <laughs> he's sweating profusely, and he's like, "What do you want me to do?" Which is fair. <laughs> he's like, what it's do you fair. want from me? He, he's got he's got other stuff going on. <laughs> His four limbs are busy with other stuff. Right, he's got other stuff going on. Yeah. So <laughs> other stuff going on. This thing's collapsing in front of my eyes, and I catch it with my foot. Okay. The set ends. Thank God. I'm like Baker. Baker. I run over and unplug it from the side. I'm like. Get the head off the cap. Get the head off the cap. He does that. I take the cap and just throw it on the ground. And at this point, I'm just like so enraged because I spent so much time mocking up this stupid piece of plywood. So I grabbed it. And I think the thing was like, I don't know, 130 pounds, 140 pounds. It wasn't like that much. It wasn't like a crazy staggering amount. I I guess that's a testament to my strength. (laughs) It wasn't a staggering amount. Dude, I used to power lift. (laughs) Maybe I was being dramatic. I I was just like, no! (laughs) So everyone 
went outside because, you know, it was stand outside fest. Let's all go stand outside and smoke and whatever. Copyright I put the thing me. up on my shoulder and I walked it outside. <laughs> now, at this particular venue, it was in Southington, I believe. There was an upper parking lot and then there was a lower parking lot. And the lower parking lot was like way bigger. So we had that banana hammock yellow trailer of ours that we used to tow around. Yes. So we went to the lower parking lot because it was like there was way more space. So we could do like a little pull through type of situation <laughs> and take up two spots and no one really gave a shit. There was a staircase that led to that parking lot. Now, I kind of set it up. I put my hand behind it and kind of did like a modified shot put. <laughs> But I do remember there were a lot of people there, and I was just so mad. And the th- you know what came out of my mouth before I threw it? I would love to know. I said, hi, a neighbor. <laughs> and threw it. And I'm not kidding you when it did not touch any of the stairs. It soared and went splat. I mean, it, it was like a that Whack. shit, that it shit was fell out of the sky. Like flat, dude. <laughs> that thing, like, oh, no. I don't know how I managed it. But I got it on the perfect angle in the air to land dead flat on the pavement. <laughs> it splatted and, dude, that was that. I was like, I was done with that cab. There <laughs> Some people came up to me. It's like, dude, you just wrecked your cab. I'm like, I'm going to get another one. And nobody that one's bothered done. us the rest of the night. That one is done. <laughs> After you guys that, probably it's over. If it's anyone's done. been paid for that show, you guys would have been paid first. That's a guarantee right like, there. Give me the envelope. Give me the envelope. <laughs> Holy fuck. There's sixteen dollars in here. <laughs> oh my god, that's a good night. Holy that's shit. Huge. That's big local band money. How much oh. are we doing merch? We sold three shirts. Oh my god, that's eight dollars. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, I'm glad we got the record set on <laughs> what happened to this cab. You throw one eight ten down the stairs. And it's then you all you're remembered for. <laughs> Eight years ago. Eight years ago. I mean, it's a good thing Here to be remembered for. There's yeah. a lot worse things that have happened in Bellevue's lives that can be identified by. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I think the it's fun to leave that story to me because it's very counterintuitive to that story. Value is a very like bright spot in the local scene to me. Like it's a very like fond time in my memory. And like the I was today getting ready for the thing. I was like going back and watching a lot of live sets, a lot of footage. 